Okay, so now we're going to review a little bit. And the first thing I want to review is uh, reviewing the moles, moles conversion, which also then includes uh, bringing in the, uh, the grams, particles, or liters. So again, let me quickly just, you know, I'm a big fan of the little flow and knowing what you're going to do. But moles of one to moles of another, and you should be able to go from grams of that first, particles of that first, I should put a V, liters of that first to moles. Once you're there, you can cross that bridge into moles of a second and then go to grams of that second, liters of the second, or particles of this second. Okay, and I remind you, and we might as well go ahead and throw this on here because I didn't um, uh, do that earlier, that this conversion is the coefficients of the balanced equation. It's the only time that moles may not be one. Here we have one mole always, and that's the periodic table for grams. The particles, of course, is one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And of course, liters, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. The same thing would hold true on this, on this other side with our conversions. Okay, so that's our little bit of a flow. Hopefully we know which way we're going. So let's go ahead and review that by doing a problem. And I'm gonna to try to kill a couple birds with the same stone here where I'm not giving you the balanced equation. We get to review how to balance equations. So copper two chloride reacts with aluminum carbonate to produce two products, okay? If, now what I would say, and the first thing we probably need to do is write a balanced equation. So copper two chloride. Well, two means it has a uh, two plus charge, chlorine is a one minus, so it's CuCl2 reacts with aluminum carbonate. Aluminum is a three plus charge, carbonate is a two minus charge. We get a three plus, a two minus, that's going to be Al2CO33. Because again, your least common is six and you need to have that many. Now it says to produce two products, I didn't even tell you what the products are. But, from knowing our previous chapter, we know that this is a um, double replacement reaction. The Cu will get together with the CO3, so that's going to be CuCO3. Notice it's a 2 plus and a 2 minus. You only need one of each. And aluminum gets together with the chlorine. So, AlCl3, the 3 plus, the 1 minus, when those get together. Obviously, it's not balanced. We don't have the same on either side. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll grab another, another color so we can just kind of differentiate. One copper, one copper, we're good. Two aluminums, one aluminum. Let's put a two there. We now have two aluminums on either side. Two chlorines, six chlorines. Put a three there, but that just, so that chlorines are good, but that changed our number of coppers, so we should fix that one right away, three coppers. And now, Three chlor carbons, three carbons, nine oxygens, nine oxygens unbalanced. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to bring it right back up. Don't worry about it. I have it right here again. Okay, so there's our balanced equation. Now, now that we have the balanced equation, let's write what's given. It says 17.5 grams of CuCl2 reacts. How many grams? Of each product, well, I'm going to put CuCO3 and how many grams of AlCl3. All right, so basically what we're doing, we're going from here to there, and we're also going from here to here. So we're doing two steps, no big deal. It's just a grams to moles to moles to grams, okay? Let's grab a color that's pretty easy to differentiate. Here we are. Let's go to this one, I guess, grams of that one. X line. Grams CuCl2 and I'm a big fan of writing the full labels. One. I look up CuCl2 on the periodic table. It's 134.5. Okay. Because the 134.5 is in the denominator, I'm going to divide. And so that gives me 0 0.13 
moles of CuCl2. Okay, I want to convert that to the CuCl3. X line moles CuCl2 moles CuCl3. We, here's where we use our co coefficients. 3 and 3. 0 0.13 moles of CuCl3. I'll bring it down here. 0. Point, ah, 0 0.13 moles of CuCl3. X line. Moles CuCl3. Gram CuCl3. 1. I look it up. It is 123.5. So when I multiply, I get 16.1 grams of the CuCO3. So that's how much of that product I'm going to get. The other product, same idea. I'm taking this and I'm going to figure out how many grams of this. I don't need to start back at the beginning. I can start from my moles. So 0 0.13 moles of that CuCl2, X line moles CuCl2, moles of my other one, ALC, A, ALCl3, 2 and 3 respectively. Don't let that 2 and 3 bother you that it's a 2 thirds. You, I wouldn't multiply by 0.66. I would just go 0.13 times 2, hit equals, divide it by 3. You get 0 0.09 moles of ALCl3. 0 0.09 moles of ALCl3, X line, moles ALCl3, grams ALCl3, 1, I look up aluminum chloride on the periodic table, it's 133.5, and I get 12.02 grams of ALCl3. There would be my box right there. So, if I had 17.5 grams, I would get these two amounts of product reacting. There's an example of a moles, moles. I could have gone particles, liters, etc., and it's the same idea.